the real reason Tesla developed the 4680 battery. Two announcements drew notice during Tesla's last battery day in September of last year. The largest uproar erupted when Tesla hinted that a $25,000 car would be available in a matter of years. The more immediate excitement, though, was the revelation of a new cell type called the 4680, which will be available in volume in 2022. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, we've brought to you the details about why Tesla developed the 4680 battery. But before we go any further, please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Tesla's 4680 battery. Both LG Energy Solutions and Samsung SDI have reportedly finished the first sample cells of Tesla's 4680 battery cell as they compete for a large contract with the manufacturer. The automaker claims to have resolved some fundamental challenges that have been limiting the industry from making larger cylindrical Li ion cells in a new shape known as 4680. Tesla's new 4680 battery cells have the potential to be less expensive and more efficient, allowing for longer range or smaller battery packs. To create the battery cell, the automaker had to build new production techniques and scale them up in its own new battery plants being developed near Berlin, Shanghai, and Austin. The 4680 cell holds a lot of promise, but it's definitely not an easy technology to master. When it is available in volume, it will represent yet another step forward in EV capabilities. Right now, though, it appears to be at least a year later than was originally promised this time last year. It was ultimately postponed even further. Contracts given for production In addition to those in-house production ambitions, Tesla is collaborating with existing battery suppliers to deploy their own production of the new 4680 cell. Panasonic, LG Energy Solutions, CATL, and Samsung SDI, four of the world's largest battery providers, have all announced plans to build those 4680 cells for Tesla. According to a fresh story from the Korea Herald, a media based in Korea where both LG and Samsung are also situated, Both battery makers have finished the first prototype cells of Tesla's 4680 battery cell. Samsung SDI and NLG Energy Solution have built samples of cylindrical 4680 cells and are currently undertaking various tests at their facilities to validate their structural soundness, a high-ranking industry official told the publication. In addition, they've also been providing their vendors with the specs for their 4680 cells. Both companies are apparently attempting to gain major contracts to provide such cells for Tesla's planned electric vehicle initiatives. The timing for Samsung's manufacture of the new battery cell is unknown, but LG has stated aspirations to reach mass production as soon as 2023, which would be shortly after Tesla's own production. Tesla intends to outfit the Model Y, which will be manufactured at the forthcoming Gigafactory in Texas, with the upgraded 4680 battery cells from the start. There are also allegations that up to 20,000 automobiles will be unable to be delivered due to a missing component. Construction and Efficiency This cell is more than twice the diameter and 10 millimeters longer than the 2170 type now utilized in most Tesla vehicles. Musk claimed it would give Tesla vehicles 16% greater range, six times the power, and cost 14% less kilowatt per hour. However, there have been issues with the new technology. Musk stated during the battery day in September 2020 that Tesla would reach roughly 10 gigawatts an hour capacity, generating the new cells by September 2021. However, in 2020, the production yield was a pitiful 20%. That is not surprising given that this is not simply a swap to a larger cell using the same technology. The new cell is tabless, which means it will use dry, electrode manufacturer which will substantially simplify the number of manufacturing processes, as well as different materials for the anodes and cathodes. Reasons for 4680 The larger batteries will also become part of the car's construction, allowing Tesla to remove chassis pieces that were previously required just to provide a rigged housing for the cells, conserving weight and optimizing available space. All of these advancements would eventually allow Tesla to lower battery costs per kilowatt hour, which would have a significant influence on car pricing at the low end of the market and enable vehicles with substantially greater range for current premium prices. Elon Musk justified the cancellation of the Tesla's Model S Plaid Plus by claiming that the Plaid was fast enough. Another argument is that because the Plaid Plus promised 520 miles of range, The 4680 cells had to be accessible in large quantities, which they currently aren't. The launch of the new Cybertruck and Semi is also being pushed back to 2022 due to the slow ramp-up of 4680 cell manufacturing. 
While Tesla Model Y automobiles from Tesla's facilities in Berlin and Texas will continue to use the 2170 cells for the time being, they were intended to be upgraded to the 4680. Musk stated in April that dependable 4680 volume was 12 to 18 months away, putting this near 2023. Musk, on the other hand, promised 100 gigawatts hour of output by 2022 at Battery Day 2020, which was plainly overly ambitious. Fortunately, it looks like things have lately improved with manufacturing yields currently at 70 to 80 percent, according to Galileo Russell of the YouTube channel HyperChange. In true Tesla manner, the technological promise is still there, but the timetable has slid significantly. In 2017, Tesla Model 3 production fell 84% short of Musk's original target. Earlier this year in August, there were more admissions of delivery delays. Industry Condition However, in addition to the chip supply issues that are harming car sales worldwide, electric vehicles will face a situation in which battery demand simply can't be fulfilled with sufficient shipping units. In reality, battery availability may be the most significant impediment to broad adoption of electric vehicles. According to EV volumes, global sales increased by 168% in the first half of 2021 compared to the first half of 2020. To maintain this exponential growth, which would mean approximately 20 million vehicles in 2022, there will need to be a concurrent increase in battery output. In fact, as cars with larger batteries for longer range become available, the demand for batteries will outpace unit vehicle sales. This is why it's critical that Tesla resolves the issues that it's been experiencing with its 4680 cell as soon as possible. Its next round of vehicle modifications and new vehicles, including the Cybertruck, Semi, and the mysterious $25,000 Model 2, all rely on this technology and it will face rising competition. Some Chinese e-bus suppliers were already approaching the magical $100 per kilowatt pack pricing. Tesla's not the only business innovating in battery technology and the sleeping titans of European auto manufacturer, such as Volkswagen and Stellantis, have woken to focus on EVs. These businesses are also collaborating with local European battery providers. Future Plans Initially, it was unclear which batteries the Austin-built Model Y would have. Tesla plans to construct and deliver the first automobiles in Giga, Texas, according to its 2020 annual report. The timing sparked debate about whether the Model Y, made in Texas, could initially rely on the 2170 cells from Gigafactory 1 in Nevada, which were used in the Fremont-built Model 3 and Model Y. Elon Musk responded on Twitter, 4680, when asked whether 2170 or 4680 cells would be used. Musk did not say where the cells will come from by the end of 2021 or how many Tesla plan to produce in his monosyllabic response. Meanwhile, Electric says the electric vehicle maker is now experiencing delivery issues. According to the source, 10,000 to 20,000 Model 3 and Model Y vehicles manufactured at the Fremont plant cannot yet be delivered due to an unexplained component shortage. The required repair is expected to be small, as Tesla still ferries automobiles to distribution centers rather than storing them at the facility. As a result, the repair will be done on-site. Nonetheless, the delivery halt will almost certainly have an impact. The rework on the vehicles that cannot be delivered will tie up service capacity, and delivery logistics will be impacted near the end of the quarter. According to Electric, the number of affected vehicles could increase further because there is currently no remedy or time frame for repair. Because there's no confirmed manufacturing halt, more vehicles are being built in stocks on a daily basis. Hey people, you thought it was great to see this video. If you want to see which videos we have on our channel, then you can click above. What are your thoughts on the 4680 battery? If so, how do you feel about it? Do you want to ask me a question? Please leave your opinions in the comments. I will definitely reply back to you. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to receive timely updates. See you in the next video. Till then, take care and thanks for watching.